By the late 1600s, science had done something irreversible. It proved that the universe could be understood without relying on tradition, authority, or inherited explanations. That didn't stay confined to laboratories. It escaped. If nature followed laws that could be discovered through reason, then reason itself became powerful. And once reason works in one place, people try it everywhere. Thinkers began applying the scientific mindset beyond physics and astronomy. Not experiments with chemicals or planets, but experiments with ideas. How should governments work? Why do laws exist? What gives rulers authority? What rights do individuals have? These questions weren't new. What was new was how they were approached. Instead of appealing to ancient texts or divine right, thinkers asked, Does this system produce stability? Does it protect people? Does it actually work? Reason replaced tradition as the default tool. That shift defines the Enlightenment. Knowledge was no longer something handed down from the past. It was something built, tested, revised, and improved. Just like science, printing accelerated everything. Ideas spread across borders. Arguments were debated publicly. Philosophers read scientists. Politicians read philosophers. The old hierarchy of truth collapsed. Not violently, but quietly. Authority now had to justify itself. And justification requires evidence. This didn't mean religion disappeared or societies became rational overnight. It meant certainty was no longer automatic. Doubt became acceptable. Questioning became normal. Progress became expected. The Enlightenment didn't reject the scientific revolution. It expanded it. Science taught Europe how to test the world. The Enlightenment taught it how to rethink society. And once that happened, there was no returning to the old order. The modern world... Rights, constitutions, secular law, public education, grows out of this moment. Not because everyone agreed, but because the method worked. From Rome to Spain. From Spain to Italy. From Italy to science. From science to reason. That's the chain. And understanding it changes how European history actually makes sense. In the next episode, we'll step back and look at what people still get wrong about the Enlightenment and why misunderstanding it leads to bad history. If you enjoyed this trip down the rabbit hole, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Smart History for Dumb Times.